politician. This is a very sad development when you can see citizens being harassed. Citizen, a woman like me being put in prison, leaving my children, my husband, my grandchildren outside for a crime I never committed, for not reporting a crime, it's very, very sad. But God is in control. President Akainda Ichirama, my son, God is in control and is on the throne. Yes, All of us should now be on our knees more to pray that God should take control of this country. We are seeing what's happening in other countries like Sudan. Over just a small thing, Sudan is on fire. Let us wait and see, and see where this president is taking us. And one thing, um, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Thank you, Mama, for speaking out. As you've seen, there has been a development. The police have brought a heavy-duty vehicle, a tow truck behind me. Uh, remember, they have stated that they wish to execute the warrant. Although the premises belongs to the former president, they are determined to execute this warrant against a constitutional provision, against the constitutional rights of the former president. What is the reason of bringing this heavy-duty vehicle here? is to break the premises. And as you can see, they are already practicing how to do it. So you, ladies and gentlemen, you can witness breaking of the constitution and the of the law. The presence of our former head of state, Nkacha Kolumbu. And these are live pictures that you're getting from uh, here, in Ibex, Lusaka. And um, according to Madam Mumbi, she, she has also condemned this act. The blue brown, eh? <laughs> so this is the talk with uh, the big baby. Uh, Truck. This is a live picture to get to this morning. As you can see, the, the, the office are ensuring that they have power to bring down the gate. So, we were earlier told that the police are going to force them. Uh, we were told that the police officers are going to force the, 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 the way in to ensure that they tow, they said, uh, to water runnex. So, this is a picture that you're getting from here. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? So these are pictures that you're getting from the here. So what's happening here is very wrong. I'm a member of parliament. And we're a constitutional democracy in Zambia. Exactly. Mm -hmm. President ECAO has got constitutional immunity. Yes. Yes. The rubbish which is happening here is uncalled for. Come to Parliament, come to Parliament and remove his immunity. That's when you can come here and do this rubbish. Why are you taking the country? This is our country to protect Zambia. This is our Zambia. The police, the police you, are, you are employed to protect the constitution of Zambia. President Rungu has got immunity. Don't take advantage. President Rungu has got immunity. We shall cite you. What you are doing is unconstitutional. Otherwise, we'll call them thieves. President HH yeah. sought to uphold the constitution of Zambia. This is unconstitutional. This is unconstitutional. You will not allow this country to go the banana way. This year has immunity. This year has got immunity. Yes. We know what you want to do. You want to break his house so that you can poison his household. Yes, 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 y
Kisia was the yard. So this is, uh, this is the second gate. There is actually the first gate on the outside. This is a As it stands, the situation looks a bit changed. Yes. We never know probably what the police officers are thinking to disperse everybody who is here this morning. Because the number now has built up and probably in situations like this, to keep calm, um, we, might, we must brace ourselves for a situation. As it stands out, we're supposed to be ready to ensure that uh, this situation is uh, brought to calm. On Mr. Christopher, Shikafu is still speaking. What is happening here is illegal. Illegal. For instance, you must not do illegal things alone. Don't be used. Don't be used. A wrong. It's a wrong. Don't be used. You won't be able to do anything. You won't be able to do anything. You won't be able to do anything. Every month, every month, every month, you are in charge of the police. You won't be able to do anything. He has done a lot for this country. From the time they came in, not even what that you done. Me one hour says, I have paid this month. Next month I'm gonna pay. No sense. Come here, you parliament. You go to parliament and remove his immunity. Stop the notion. This this is total lawlessness. Yes. Uh, we're in a country of laws. Andy. We are in a country of laws mm. and standing on behalf of members of parliament, if at all President Haka in the Ichilema has any problem with uh, uh, President Lungu or they, if they think he has committed any offence, mm. let them come to parliament. Yeah. We debate the matter and his immunity be removed. We cannot be going through this embarrassment. It's total embarrassment, first of all, not only to the family of the former president, but to the government itself. After the summit, especially. We held what they called the Democratic Summit not very long ago, mm. uh, where colossal sums of money were spent, and we expected this country to begin to proceed in an orderly manner, following the laws. The president is always talking about the rule of law. What rule of law do we have here? There is nothing. They are trying to find every excuse to embarrass President uh, Edgar Chagualungu. This is mm. ungodly. And we are saying as members of parliament, we will not allow this. We stand ready, as I have said before, we are ready to lay our lives in defense of our constitution Amen. and in defense of our democracy. Yes. Lawlessness will not, will not be allowed. So we are now here and we are ready to face the police. Yes. We are ready to face the police yes. head on. Yes. Because if they impeach the constitution, we are ready to defend ourselves. Yeah. That's the reason why we, we are here. I think the constitution has to be respected. No single day has Akainde Ichilima announced to this nation that uh, President, uh, President, uh, uh, President uh, uh, Lungu's immunity has been removed. In as far as we are concerned, this immunity is still there, it's still strong. So what is this nonsense? Because they have come to his residence. His residence is part of the immunity. It means that no one can break into his house unless the immunity has been removed. And in any case, has he or has the wife been called to the police to go and explain what they are looking for? So I find this very, very Please stop this. Stop abusing power. Power comes and power goes. Yeah. Okay. Hey, what are they doing here? Let's see. First of all, I think like my colleagues have said, um, we walk up to the road shop uh, to hear that uh, and we all know the privileges that you is enjoyed by the former head of state. Um, if the state has got um, a case they feel they need to prosecute him, they shouldn't use other means. 
We have told them before in Parliament that let them be clear on what they want to do. You can't use the president's wife as a pretext to strip him of his constitutional bestowed immunities. It doesn't work. So they let them do the right thing. Strip him of his immunities, then they can do whatever they want to do. But to breach the constitution in this fashion is unacceptable. And I think we uh, here as um, members of parliament uh, who have been waiting for the state to make a proper move. So anything else that needs to be they are going to do here will be an act of illegality. And we shall see. The president is being set today. <laughs> the president who is the only, only former president out of the five we have had, out of the six we have had, there is another one coming. The sitting head of state is in state house, having the same immunities. And what he's setting up today might be something to follow him. So I think to those that are operatives, you need to understand that we were there today, yesterday. I was Minister of Home Affairs. There's another one today. It's off duty. So there's nothing permanent. The only thing that is permanent is time. Thank you. Thank you. You see, Zambians, from a long time, you have been calling me names. I used to tell you that you are a dictator. I've been saying this. This man is a dictator. And surely, if you look at what is happening here, Look at what is happening here. Where did you see in a democratic country a former president with immunity being called with this tow truck to break in the residence of a former president who has immunity? They are jokers. We are not asking for anything, but we are asking for them to follow the law. If this former president has got an issue, what they are supposed to do is to go to parliament, lift his immunity, and then they can access his premises. Whatever they are saying to say, no, this one, who, eh, the wife, whatever, this property, as it is, the one who owns it, is a tenant, is a former president, and therefore, it is, it is surrounded by that immunity. If these people go inside, how do we know what they are going to plant? Because for me, I believe that these people want to plant something inside, which they are going to use now, Parliament, to remove his immunity. Because if it is really not about ill intent, Ill intent they would have summoned his lawyers to come to force headquarters and have a discussion here. Not this. This is war. This is war. Zambians, when are you going to wake up? When are you going to realize that you elected a dictator? This is dictatorship, nothing else. When you suspend the law, they have suspended the law. Yes. The law is not working here. The law is not working. These police officers are here. They are illegal. Whoever signed the warranty, it doesn't matter because the immunity stands. That is our point. The immunity stands. Anything else is illegal. It is dictatorship. This is on you. This is on you. Tell Baka in the Ichirema, this is on you. You wanted to assassinate me so that you can silence people. No one can talk because you want to continue that such kind of things. It is illegal. It is dictatorship.